Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're just going to do a review on our Orter Laser Master Pro 2. Yep, you got it. You got it. <laughs> All right, guys. So we have had this uh, for right about a year mm -hmm. now. Uh, so we kind of wanted to go over, you know, what we think about it. Goods, maybe a few bads. Um, just kind of, you know, show some of the updates we've done to it as well. All right, so the good thing about it is it's pretty easy to use. It is, yeah. It, it's it's very easy to use um, once you get it set up and right. ready, which is kind of a, a rough thing right out of the box. No instructions, so you've right. got to search for the instructions. And hope um, you find some good ones. Yeah, hope you find some good ones, <laughs> uh, some easy-to-follow ones. Um, but, yeah, it's once it's built uh, and connected to your computer, it, it's good. Um great one to use um then there are two options you get uh for programs mm -hmm. uh there's one laser garble which is a free download and then another one that is lightburn uh, and it's not free it is a paid for use software but i highly recommend it because it's awesome yeah. and it makes it easier to use so once you get lightburn if that's the way you choose to uh, go once it's connected to that and uh you get that all set up it's really quite easy after that yeah. uh, the lasers in the lasers set up you don't have to do a lot to it just to do simple etching or engraving on right. wood and then you know kind of going from there you can do a whole lot more if you choose to yes um, yeah it's pretty versatile yeah absolutely uh, you can goodness you can do wood you can do glass glass the mirrors mirrors and uh, the canvases, the canvases. Which turn out awesome. Uh, metal's not going to do a ton of it. Right. Uh, we were able to get stainless steel to mark uh, using that dry molly lube. Yep. So it's, it's very versatile in what you can do. All right, so another good, bad thing, depending on who you are, Adam loves tinkering. Uh, so you do have to do a little bit of tinkering with it. We Absolutely, yeah. If you want to use it to the fullest, you've got to be willing to get in there and actually learn what the machine is capable of, how it can do it. Make um, changes as needed. Absolutely, which yeah. Which we had to do some of it, not necessarily by choice. Right, yeah. And that's kind of brings us to another up in the air one, support, right? So uh, our machine stopped working. It would just... Uh, run about half a program and completely stop. Um, I did a lot of reading before I opened up a case with support. I thought it was the uh, grounding issue that was very common. Um, it was pretty clear to me that that's what it was. That's exactly what it was doing. And even with an incredibly good description and a walkthrough of what it was doing, how it was doing it, when it was doing it, uh, support still started me over at the very basics, and it was a couple day process before <laughs> they agreed with me that it was, in fact, the grounding, which was clear to start with. Um, so that's, it, it's good that they're thorough. <laughs> it's annoying when you know what the problem is, and it takes them that long to acknowledge it. And then it took another month for them to ship the kit out. Uh, so we did it ourselves before then. Right, which which goes back to the tinkering. We Absolutely. had a, we did a new grounding kit uh, that we had to uh, put on, mm -hmm. um, and the cable management is another thing we've played around with because right. there are cables everywhere. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, cable management's kind of horrible on this. Um, it's got this piece instead of a drag chain now the newer version the pros got a drag chain and is awesome uh our cnc's got a drag chain if you've got cables on this it's got to be a drag chain so in my opinion not having a drag chain is a huge um negative on this because this this will get in the way it'll sit down in the bed it'll move a piece i've ended up just uh hanging it from uh, a different piece inside the with enclosure yeah with some elastic so it's got some stretch yeah uh, so that it doesn't uh, pull the gantry at all when it's moving around and it's worked awesome but I mean, you need a drag chain. Yeah. Now, like I said, that's kind of uh, fixed in the Pro model, mm -hmm. as well as uh, they are now shipping out the grounding kit with all new models. So you're not going to run into 
either one of those problems if you go with the pro model um if you don't go with the pro model it's still not going to have a drag chain um that's probably uh, on our list of things to <laughs> do at some point in time yeah. um uh, also wanted to take a second and uh, talk about the rotary. Um, this had great instructions. Yeah. Yeah, it was easy walkthrough, step by step. Very good to get it this far. Uh, this is an upgrade part. Um, after that, getting it to actually run with the machine, uh, <laughs> not not as easy. That definitely takes a lot of more tinkering reading yes and then on top of that it's oh. all backwards so you've got yeah. to figure that out too and then flip it um so i mean that that's kind of a a problem between this talking with light burn it's not necessarily this but right. it is something that you have to know or you or, know at the very least your first burn is going to be wrong all right like and trial and error yeah absolutely <laughs> uh it does take a lot of trial and error to do this so it's one of those things you can't get discouraged right. oh, uh, when, when the first five don't turn out right. Yeah, we've, we've had a lot of fails. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. But then we finally figure out where we want it, and it comes mm -hmm. out amazing. Yeah, so, it's just getting to that point is rough sometimes. Sometimes it is. Yeah. <laughs> All right, aside from those little issues, mm -hmm. um, our biggest thing is it has to be plugged into the computer. So, uh, you know, there's only so far we can go from our computer with a laser. Right. Um, the uh, Pro model has a spot. Yeah, that, it's, um, it's got a control module. I don't know a lot about it because we don't have one. Um, and I don't know if that's just a you can control it from that or if you can run the programs without having to plug it in. Um I would have to read more on that, but I, I think that's something that bothers me about it most because we're constantly tethered to uh, the computer. Right. And we don't have a laptop that we're going to carry around. Not everybody does. Right. Um, so it's another purchase that you have to have if you don't have a computer handy uh, to get the USB in. Yep. So it's something to think about before you purchase. Right, where where it's going to be when you do your lasering because, Absolutely. you know, uh, with three kids and us, we can't just be having it out in the living room lasering. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and yeah. It's, it's also not very smart to turn it on <laughs> in a garage and walk away from it. Um, yeah. You know, burn hazard. Yes. Um, so, with all of that said, I still really like the laser. I think it's great. Um, it's a perfect entry level machine uh, to get you into kind of learning it, learning how it works without spending a lot of money. Right. right? Uh, yeah. Get you familiar with the programs and, yeah, absolutely. and how the laser works so that when you move on to your next one, if you enjoy it, you have a pretty good understanding. Right. So I have uh, played with a few of the other lasers that are out there and do not like them as much. Um, <laughs> I definitely like this one better. Uh, easier to use, easier to get set up, easier to figure out what's wrong with it when there's problems. Right. Um, and so, yeah, it's been great. Uh, overall, love it. We did do upgrades to kind of get it to where we like it. Uh, it won't cut right out of the box very well. Uh, it, you might be able to do it, but it's going to be extremely slow and A lot of way, way more passes than you really need. Which brings us to probably what I would say your most important upgrade is, and that's air assist. Um, and really all you need for air assist to get going is a new nozzle that goes over the laser. And an air pump, which mm -hmm. we got off of Amazon. Yeah, it, it came with the hoses and everything that we needed to hook it up to the laser. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've tried a few different uh, nozzles, and this one uh, we definitely like the best. Mm -hmm. We do have a video on setting that up, yeah. as well as a link on where you can reach out to get that. Mm -hmm. um, other upgrades that we've done, we had a friend do some 3D printing Yeah, yeah. Um, to make us, so we can make it taller. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anytime we've got material in there that's not tall enough, uh, you know, you either set it up on Legos or, 
you know, bean <laughs> cans, whatever you can get, whatever gets it Which there. Which we have done. We did do that first. Yes. Uh, but then we got these feet uh, laser printed. And the base ones are awesome so the laser doesn't move uh, while it's on... It, yeah, they're made uh, so that bed. the laser literally sits down into it. Yeah, it doesn't set on top; it right. fits into it. Yeah, fits down in it, and we've got it screwed down to our base piece of wood, and yeah, it, it's not going to move when you have the speed turned way up. It also came with these other other pieces that just click right in to the base. Yeah, and and, and there's a bunch of different sizes you can do. The ones that we use. Really, the only ones we've needed to use are the 100 millimeters. Mm -hmm. uh, that always gets it tall enough uh, to be above the the rotary, and we've been able to do everything with that. Um, so I highly recommend something like this that's sturdy. Yes. Uh, lots of things can be used, but uh, these we've found have been uh, awesome, awesome for our application. Uh, the Z-axis, we also upgraded. Mm -hmm. uh, we've done that a couple of times as well with a few different ones. Um, and we've got videos of both of those. This one is probably the better quality made one. It's it's awesome. Uh, the only reason that I don't have it on there right now is that I can adjust that one faster. <laughs> um, right. Right. So this this one's design's amazing. It's incredibly well made, and it's great for very little micro changes. But I think one turn was like a millimeter, as opposed to I can unscrew this one and move it very fast. Yeah. Um, and when you've got the piece under it, this one's just faster. That, that's really all there is to it. Right. They we, both work awesome. And uh, we use them both. So. And, yeah, and we've, we've used them both. So a second back on the rotary. This only works the way you get it, basically, if it's a, it's a cylinder, right? Right. If it's... Different shaped at all, tumbler from one side to the other. You can't put it flat. It's right. not going to burn straight. Um, so we went ahead and got this. It looks a little complicated. <laughs> it's but really not. <laughs> it sits in once you get it fixed, and then you can adjust this side so that it holds it and makes where you're cutting level. Right. And that way you won't get a really weird uh, misshapen burn. The cool thing about this is you can make it fit where you need it. If it's this way. If it's a small glass, if it's a big glass, yep. however, Absolutely. yeah, totally adjustable. Yep. And then this side, uh, adjust, we put this on the inside of the glass so that it holds it down. Mm -hmm. That's another thing that I've kind of found on this is that as it spins, if it's not secure or <laughs> heavy enough, the glass is going to walk on you. All right, so when we started cutting things with the laser, mm -hmm. uh, we tried a few different things for our laser bed. Um, they did not work well. <laughs> um, you know, dollar store fines, it, yeah, the, you know, cookie things, the cookie rack. Mm -hmm. Um, and this ends up being the best. Uh, it's level and we can magnet what we need onto it. So it does not move and it stays flat. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and the big reason that we use this is because you need, uh, air underneath it to move as you burn yeah. or else it's very hard to get it to cut fully through. Right. Uh, so as, and then our air assist pulls the air out from under it, pulls the smoke out from under it, and then it's able to cut a lot better. Yeah. Um, and the honeycomb is the really high-end nice ones uh, that you can buy. We decided to go with this. Uh, we were getting the expanded metal anyway, right. and you know, it's like, <laughs> hey, let's give it a shot. And it's awesome. Yes. It works great. And being able to magnet stuff down um, is, is really a lifesaver on things not moving. Yes. Uh, you're not always going to be burning something heavy. Right. Um. Oh, it's goodness. It's great on the leather. Yeah, it held the leather down perfect. And the three millimeter plywood has a tendency to warp. <laughs> yeah. And the metal, or the magnet can actually hold that down. Yeah. Uh, to where it's flat when you cut it, mm -hmm. which is awesome. You just have to get strong enough magnets for yep. that. We also have uh, an exhaust setup in our enclosure that pulls mm -hmm. the smoke out and it goes directly to our window here. Yep. Um, when we remember to open the window. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, it blows all the smoke out there and it's not stuck in our enclosure. Right. And getting more soot on uh, whatever it is we're lasering. Right. And another thing on that is that the laser needs to be clear. Right. So <laughs> if there's if there's too much smoke 
and soot in the way it's not going to burn as well. Right. Uh, it's important to clean your laser, but it's also important to get that out of the way as fast as you can, and then it will will burn better. Air assist helps with that, but you've got to exhaust it as well. Right. There's yeah. got to be somewhere else for right. the smoke to go. Yeah. And we already had a enclosure for our CNC, so we just right. kind of piggybacked into that. <laughs> so it's it's way bigger than need be for this yes. for due to the CNC, but you know, we didn't have to build a new one. It's already got doors. Um, it was really easy to just add our exhaust into absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And I think Really, the only thing left is what do we want to do to this in the next year or so? Right. Um, I mean, I know what I want to do. I want to get a light burn camera on it. Uh, our computer's in a different room, <laughs> yes. so lining it up's not the easiest thing to do. Uh, we make it work. Yep. Uh, but having a light burn camera where we can actually see the overlay on the computer will, you know, make that ten times easier. So that's on our list of things to do this year. Uh, to kind of upgrade that and then you know there's other projects we want to do right there's projects we want to do but as far as upgrades i think we're yeah i think we're happy with it yeah, for right I, now i think we're in a pretty good space um our enclosure we would like to upgrade the doors on it so that it actually has laser protection Plexiglass. Uh, plexiglass on it so that we don't always have to wear our glasses right. it'd make it really nice on doing other things in the garage at the same time right yeah um table saw and such would be yeah nice to be able to use all of that and not you don't have to wear the glasses while doing that <laughs> uh safety first always always all right so if you have any questions for us or you know comments of things we should also upgrade because we're always open to that or always. adam is yeah <laughs> Um, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll yeah. see you next time. Thanks, guys.